Have you ever wondered what secrets a haunted house might hold? Picture, if you will, a grand old mansion standing alone against the backdrop of a dark, moonlit sky. It's a house that whispers tales of bygone days, its walls echoing with the faintest trace of laughter and life now shrouded in silence. Rumours have been swirling for decades about this place, casting a long, foreboding shadow over its once resplendent architecture. From the unusual flicker of lights in the dead of the night to the sudden chill that sweeps the corridors, from the soft rustle of unseen footsteps to the inexplicable whispers that hang in the air, this house is a repository of secrets. Each room, each crevice, is a silent testament to the countless stories of the unknown that lurk within. As I approached the house, the air grew colder, and an indescribable sense of dread washed over me. With every step into this house, I could feel an unseen presence watching me. An uncanny chill seemed to seep from the very walls, a coldness that was more than just temperature. It was a feeling, an icy touch that hinted at an otherworldly presence. The air was heavy with something unspoken, a silence that was intermittently broken by whispers, whispers that seemed to creep up from the very floorboards, a hushed conversation from a time long past. As I moved deeper into the house, doors would slam shut behind me, the sound echoing through the empty halls, a stark reminder of the solitude. Yet I was never truly alone. A constant sensation of being watched, of unseen eyes following my every move, lingered. There was a feeling of trespassing, of intruding into a space that wasn't meant for the living. It was as if the house itself was alive, its ghostly inhabitants restless. As I ventured deeper, the haunting unfolded before me. The heart of the house began to pulsate with an otherworldly presence, as if the very walls were alive. Each creak of the old wooden floorboards seemed to echo with a spectral sigh, a chilling reminder of the house's ghostly inhabitants. A sudden chill filled the air, the temperature dropping dramatically. I could see my breath, a ghostly mist in the cold. The silence was shattered by a disembodied voice, a mournful plea that seemed to come from nowhere and everywhere at once. The words were unintelligible, but the emotion was clear, a sorrow so deep it had transcended death itself. Then came the phantom footsteps, a slow, deliberate tread echoing down the empty corridors, growing louder and closer with each passing second. It was as if an unseen spectre was making its way towards me, its invisible gaze fixed on my trembling form. Next, spectral apparitions began to manifest. A shadowy figure here, a flicker of movement there, each one more terrifying than the last, their ghostly faces twisted in fear and despair, crying out for help from beyond the grave. The intensity of the haunting escalated, reaching a fever pitch. The air crackled with paranormal energy. The very fabric of reality seemed to warp and twist in the face of such supernatural phenomena. Each room held its own eerie tale. Each corridor echoed with whispers of the past, but the mystery only deepened, the house holding its secrets close. Like a riddle wrapped in an enigma, the haunted house continued to perplex and bewilder, its spectral inhabitants elusive as shadows. Who were they, these unseen presences that filled the halls with whispers and the night with chilling cries? Were they the former inhabitants of the house, their souls trapped in an endless limbo? Or were they something else entirely? The reason for their unrest was another enigma. What could have caused such disquiet, such turmoil? A tragedy, perhaps, that had befallen them in life? A longing for something lost or unattainable? Or was it anger? A burning desire for vengeance that echoed through the empty corridors and desolate rooms? As I journeyed deeper into the house, the questions multiplied. Each room, each shadowy corner seemed to hold a new mystery, a new piece of the puzzle that was just out of reach. The whispers grew louder, the cries more desperate, the atmosphere more oppressive, yet the answers remained elusive, the spirits remaining silent when questioned, their voices only heard when they chose to speak. And so the mystery continued to deepen, the house still holding its secrets close. As I left the house, I couldn't shake off the feeling that there was much more to uncover, much more that the house was yet to reveal.